Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening, good evening teacher. Oh, good evening, good guys. Evening. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Well, I'm a bit tired and you know, it's Monday. So, ooh, Mondays are always tiring, right? First day of the week. Um, so you need to get used to Mondays. Uh, but overall, we're doing all right, right? Thank you so very much for asking. So I have um, uh, Carla, Bea, Roxana, Carla Hernandez, Jairo, Carlos, Fran, Cindy, Manuel, and Maria Elena Montano. Thank you very much for being here. All right. Oh, hello. Okay. Guys, do you like do you like Mondays? Yeah? No? Yeah? I don't like it. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Mondays are super difficult. Especially if you don't work uh on weekend, right? So it's like uh Monday trying to recover um uh, and all that, but it's okay. Here we are. Thank you for joining Kenya Marcela, Kenya Jamilet. Uh thank you very much. And uh, we have um let's Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Jose Francisco Cruz, thank you for, for joining Manuel. Thank you and good evening. Um, thank you guys for being here. All right. All right. So right now we are 15, which is good. It's good. Okay. So guys, <clears throat> um, this week is a little bit, uh, uh, let's say, tiring because we have three important things. Number one, we have homework. Number two, we have the oral exam and we have the rate 10 exam, all right? So I will explain to you a little bit about the homeworks later on, but uh, just for you to be aware of that. So we have three important things to complete this week. All right, so <clears throat> Ronald, thank you Ronald for being here. Thank you Sergio for, for being here. All right, so let's Good begin. Evening, Good evening, Ronald. Thank you for, for joining the class today. Very good guys. So I have a question right now. Think about the answer, uh, and then you are going to share, compartir, then you are going to share your opinions about that question, all right? So what is, what is the question? Well, the question is this. Um, the question is, what is the food you hate? the most what is the food you hate the most all right we use the most como la que más odiamos siempre va al final all right the most lo contrario fuera what is the food you like the most la que más te gusta but in this case, it's the one you hate, the one you hate the most, all right? So, for example, I'm going to give you my example. Guys, I hate, I mean, the complete sentence is, the food that I hate the most, okay, this is the answer. This is the answer. The food 
that I hate the most is, y aquí va su respuesta. Here's your answer, okay? The food that I hate the most is, in my case, la flor de isote. I hate that. Oh my good, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, so that is the food that I hate the most. All right, so, okay. Now, what about you? What about you? Let's begin. Heido, Heido, what is the food that you hate the most? The food that I hate the most is papayas. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> All right, pacayas. All right, that's good. I hate, pa no, I like pacayas. I like pacayas, but Jairo hates pacayas. All right. Delicious. Yes. With, Delicious. With, lemon, with lemon and salt, they are super good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's continue. Carla Hernandez. What yeah. is the food you'll hate the most? Uh, the beans white. Oh, okay. But give me the complete sentence here. Okay. This food that I hate most is beans white. The soap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, Carla? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> they, they are delicious. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, only no. the beans white. Really. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. White bean suits. All right. Excellent. All right. Just uh, let's continue with Carla Vasquez. Carla, what is the food that you hate the most? The food that I hate the most is berenjena. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Ooh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. You don't like it? No. no. What? Really. They are so delicious. <laughs> es muy, muy ligosa. Oh, like, okay. En inglés, ¿cómo se diría lo, lo ligoso? Like, like slime and, and all that? Slimy? Slime. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Let's continue with Bea. <gasps> Um, <laughs> the food that I had the most is, I don't know, pizza. What? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> um, Are you on a I diet? Uh, Are you on a diet? Como digo, solo esto comía de chiquita oh, cuando okay. salíamos frecuentemente con mi familia. Okay. So, is... Okay. I used to eat that. Oh, uh, esta, esta versión es compleja. When I was a child. When I, uh -huh. when I, when I was, a was a child. child. All right. Guys, esto de used to Significa es como solía. Solía, exacto. Solía. I used, pasado. I used to play tennis in the past. I used to read books. I used to eat pizza. Right? Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you, Bea. Let's continue with Cindy. What's the food that you hate the most? The food that I hate the most is whiskey. <laughs> okay. You don't like it? No, I don't. No, I don't like it either. I don't like it. I'm with you, you know? So that makes two a kind. All right, whiskey. Yeah, it's like... All right, I, I, I understand. I feel you. Very good. Guys, I feel you. I feel you. ¿Qué significa? No es yo te siento, right? 
No, no, no digo. Estoy contigo o se utiliza para decir te entiendo. Por ejemplo, I hate with kill. Y yo digo, oh, I feel you. I don't like it either. All right. I feel you. All right. Now we, in English, we use the word to, cuando decimos me too, for example, right? Yo también, me too, me too. Pero acá, como es negativo, por ejemplo, I don't like pizza. No me pueden decir me too. ¿Ok? Porque significa yo también. Tendría que ser a mí tampoco. How do you say that? ¿Ok? All right. Okay. Me. Me. Neither. Me neither. All right. No tengo. Le va a servir. All right. <clears throat> so, ex ex example. Um, let's see. Cindy. What is the food that you don't like? That you hate the most? Uh, the food that I hate the most is whiskey. All right. Yes. I feel you. Oh, I don't like it. Uh, well, in this case, it's different. Me neither, is yo tampoco. Pero si lo ponen en la oración, decimos, I don't like it either cambia la palabra I don't like it either a mí tampoco me gusta esto es tampoco either tampoco all right I don't like it either all right <clears throat> let's continue Roxana what is the food that you hate the most most guys la pronunciación de most no oops Oops, oops, I'm sorry. La pronunciación, the pronunciation of this word is most. 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 Excellent, yeah. So, Roxana, what is the food that you hate the most? Uh, what is the food to hate, to hate the most? Crowds. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, all right. You don't like it? Crabs? Uh, no, not like no? it. No? Uh, why? No. Uh, all right. Me da, me da dolor de estómago. Oh, all right. How do you say? How do you say me da dolor de estómago? Bien, vamos a perder muchas frases. It makes me feel sick. It makes me feel sick. All right. So, uh, again, Roxana, why don't you like crabs? It makes it me feel sick. Excellent. Very good. Very good. There we go. Fran, the food that you hate the most. Uh, I think that the food that I hate the most is pipianes. Oh, okay. Not even in the soup? Como se dice también en sopa. Also in soup? Also in soup, too. Right. Pipianes con crema? All right. <laughs> no, no, no way. <laughs> okay. Excellent, excellent, very good. Let's continue with Charlie. Carlos, what is the food that you hate the most? Uh, the food that, uh, pardon, that I hate the most is eggs with onions. Ooh, all right. Eggs with onions, okay. Very Gracias. good. Repitame el código, por favor. All right, so let's continue. Let's go with some. Um, let's see the next one here. Ronald, what is the food that you hate? The food that I hate the most, most is cabbage. 
Oh, yeah. all right. Discover all right. Why don't you it, like uh, it? It's made me feel sick. All right, excellent. All right, that's good. It makes me feel sick. Let's continue with Manuel Reyes. What is the food that you don't like, Manuel? The food that I hate the most is uh, chow mein. Really? You don't yes. like it? <laughs> no, not like it. Oh my God. But do you like pasta in general? Like last time? Uh, yes, only, yeah? only chow mein. Only chow mein, you don't like yes. it? All right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank you. Uh, Kenya, Marcela, your answer. What is the food that you hate the most? Kenya? I don't like it. Shrimps? Shrimps? Oh, shrimps, yes. Is camarón. Yes. You don't like shrimps? All mm. right. Are you allergic? I don't like. No. Um, solo como digo. Solo no, no me llama la atención. Okay, excellent. That's a good one. Venga, ¿Cómo se dice? They just don't like. Uh, I just don't. I just don't like them. They just don't like them. Mm -hmm. I just don't like them. Excellent. Just, en este caso, significa solo. Solo no me gusta. I just don't like them. All right? I just don't like them. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Kenya. Excellent. Very good. All okay. right. Let's continue with the next one. And the next one is Sergio. What is the food that you hate the most? The food that I hate the most is hígado encebollado. What was that? Hígado encebollado. Oh, liver? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Very good. Yeah. Liver is something very special. <laughs> I understand that. I feel you. I understand you. Yeah. I don't like it either. All right. Thank you, Sergio. Elena del Carmen, what is the food that you hate the most? Um, I don't like it either. Pipiane. Pipiane, you don't like it either? All right, you don't like it either. All right, excellent. Okay, let's continue then, Jose. What's your food that you don't like? Um, question for me? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, the food that I hate the most is uh, salt sausages. Oh, really? You don't like any 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 sausages, embutidos, sausages? You don't sí, like sí. them? Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Awesome. Why? Any special reason? No. No, in general. In, in general, general, I just yes. don't like them. Yes. All right. Repeat with me. I just don't like them. I just don't like them. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's go with Maria Elena Montano. What is the food that you hate the most, Elena? Um, the food that I hate the most is sub uh, pata. No. Come on. <laughs> Come on, por favor, tell me, <laughs> tell me you're kidding. Sopa de pata, you don't like it? No, I don't like no? it. No? All right. <laughs> Very good. That is a traditional food. So uh, in that case, there is no translation for that. All right? You cannot say uh, feed soup. Uh -uh. No, it's sopa de pata, right? Or for example, uh, the traditional food, that we have like pastelito de carne or what else? 
Uh, ¿Cómo dice eh, pescado seco? Dry, dry fish, va, eso sí, dry fish. Uh -huh. But like, for example, how do you say esto? empanadas? Those food, they don't have a translation, all right? They are Spanish foods, so we say the name in Spanish. Pupusas, uh, tamales, tortillas. Uh, I'm sorry? Conchas. No, that one's different. Yeah, that that we can we we do have a translation for that. Yeah. What how do you say how do you say uh give me this? What did you say? Concha. Concha. Uh -huh. concha. How do you, okay, people have any idea how do you say conchas? Who knows? Shells. Shell. Es el como el, 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 no. el... Ajá. Ajá. So, but the ones you eat. El cóctel de concha. Ah, um, I Shell remember the gas station. Shell. All right. But sh just shell is like the, the thing, the hard thing, right? Just the hard thing. But if it's the food inside, it's the sea shell. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Oh, Marlon. Marlon, what is the food that you don't like? Um, can you show me the phrase again? Sure. Uh, just give me one second right here. All right. Share. What is the food that you don't like the most? <laughs> uh huh. What is the food? Any food that you don't like that you will never ever eat in your whole life? I heard you. I heard it. The okay. uh -huh. relleno de coliflor. Oh, okay. <laughs> how <laughs> any idea how do you say relleno de coliflor? We can say that in English. Yeah, we can say stuffed. Uy, no estoy escribiendo, I'm sorry. Uh, stuffed. Todo lo que sea relleno es stuffed. All right. Stuffed cauliflower. Stuffed cauliflower. All right. So, okay. Uh, Marlon doesn't like stuffed cauliflower. Okay. You can say stuffed chili, right? Uh, stuffed potatoes. Potato de papa. Stuffed potatoes. Stuffed and, potatoes. Uh -huh, and all that. All right. Very good. Very good. Anyone's Kenya Jamilet? Uh huh. Kenya. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Oh. How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right. Oh. I had chicken. In general? You don't, For you this don't like people. It? I don't like it. Are you allergic to it? No? What? Are you, are you allergic to it? No. To the chicken? No? All right. I don't like this flavor. Oh, all right. All right. Excellent. Okay. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay. Now, let's see if you have a good memory. Do you remember what was the first phrase of the day that we saw? I think it was on, on Tuesday. What was the first phrase of the day? The first. By right? all means. By all means. All right? By all means. By all means. Phrase number two. By my guest. Be 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 my guest. Number three. A penny to my name. A penny to my name. Can you tell me another word, another phrase for a penny to my name? A dollar to my name. 
a dollar to my name, okay? Another expression that it's very common. Uh, how do you say? No tengo nada. Ah, I broke. I'm broke. Excellent. Very good. So I'm broke and a penny to my name. They are the same. All right. So let's go with the phrase for today. And the phrase for today is this one. Elena del Carmen, please help us read the phrase of the day. To eat their own. Excellent. Más rapidito. Let's go one more time. A little bit faster. To each their own. To each their Excellent. own. Very good. To each their own. All right? Their own. Remember? Remember this one. We have consonant. We have vowel. Their own. Their, their own. All right? No la partan. Their own. Their Una la e con la esta. Their, their own. own. Their, their own. own. All right? Excellent. Their own. Their own. Their own. Their own. Each their own. All right. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, take a look at this example. Um, Francisco Antonio Granados. Read. Just like pineapple, this pizza. All right. And what is the answer, uh, Bea? Well, to each their own. Well, to each their own. All right. Again, Josh likes pineapple on his pizza. Josh, and likes I say, pineapple on well, to each their own. Their own. What is the meaning of to each their own? Cada quien lo suyo. Yes. O a cada, no sé. Yes. Like, it means that everyone has a different preference. For example, in, in, in Spanish, you say, in Spanish, a very, a very... Uh, Por gusto los colores, very, algo así. Exactly. We have a very clear, clear phrase in Spanish. In Spanish, we say, para gusto los colores, o oh, tenemos otra que es, tal vez sonará pesado, pero significa exactamente lo que dice ahí. Cada loco. Con su tema. Esa es la, la más cercana. To each their own. Right? So that's the, that's the meaning. To each their own. All right? So you have another phrase for today. Right? Okay. So practice these phrases whenever you can. Practice them. Very good, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and explain something. I'm going to say this in Spanish. Necesito su full, su full atención. Okay. Voy a decir esto. Eh, los voy a poner en mute un, un momento a todos para que me escuchen todo lo que voy a decir. Lo iba a explicar al final, pero mejor lo hago ahorita, porque al final a veces no nos queda mucho tiempo. Voy a explicar las tres actividades que tenemos en esta semana. Y lo voy a hacer en español para que quede clarito y que todos no se pierdan ninguna de esas tres actividades. ¿Ok? Bien. Actividad número uno es la tarea. It's homework. ¿All right? La homework... ¿Dónde la van a encontrar? Easy. All right. Se van ustedes. Uh, just a second. Se van a Schoology. Se uh, loguean a Schoology. Semana número dos. Week number two. Click on a week number two. And you will find homework assignment. 
click in this grain folder. Le dan click ahí. Y está la primera tarea. Frequency adverbs. All right. So, abren el documento. Okay. Y aquí está the frequency adverbs. There are two pages. Son dos páginas. La primera es la explicación que vamos a empezar a ver mañana. Y la segunda es la tarea. Ahí está. Usted va a leer eh, lo que está aquí y va a completar. Son 10 oraciones. La única re, re, llamémoslo requisito es que esta tarea tiene que ser a mano. All right. So, usted la hace a mano en un cuaderno. You take a screenshot or a picture and you send me the homework to my personal WhatsApp. All right? All right? Very good. So, tarea. That's number one. ¿Para cuándo es esa? Para el jueves. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eh, miércoles. Para el miércoles. All right? So, you have until the 16. Déjeme ver. Perdón. Jueves. Jueves is the homework. All right? So you have three days. You have two days. Well, three. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in order to complete it. All right? So homework, this is for Thursday. Second activity. The second activity is in a school day también. All right? So lo que en la second activity, usted se va a donde dice foros evaluados. All right? Le da clic donde dice foros evaluados y ahí está la, el foro número uno. Click on it. All right. Y ahí está la instrucción. Dice, let's see. Um, Carla Hernández, please read the instruction. Okay. Bright, 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 on the night frequency adverb with student in class. All right. Note. Okay. No, you must have night sentences in total. The online is uh -huh. Friday and 17. 17. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Uh, esta? This is for Friday. The homework is for Thursday. The forum is for Friday. The instruction is very clear. I need nine sentences with the nine frequency adverbs that we are going to study tomorrow. Okay, so what do you need to do? Usted entra, hace todo el procedimiento y aquí donde dice write a comment. Va a entrar José y va a poner sus, sus nueve oraciones. All right. Y así hasta que llegue a la nueve. Una vez le da, le da post y ya queda su respuesta en el foro. All right. Any doubt about it? Any question about the forum? No, teacher. No question? All right. No, no teacher. Okay. Okay. What is the question? Oh, no questions? All right. Okay. Now, viene esta que es una de las que más me interesa. Es, la, es el examen oral. All right. The oral exam. Y el oral exam lo van a tener junto con su written exam. O sea que esto lo van a tener hasta el día lunes de la próxima semana. En la primera hora, nos vamos a dedicar a hacer el examen oral. Y en la segunda hora, el examen escrito. All right. So, todo está en Schoology. Ahora se va donde dice a Speaking Evaluation. All right. Speaking Evaluation. Y luego, Speaking Units 1 and 2. All right. Y aquí está. Vean, aquí hay un link. 
usted abre este link. Open the link. Vamos a las instrucciones. Leemos. Let's see. Uh, 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 um, Manuel, please help us read the instruction for this one. Okay, uh, read the document and answer the three questions you find in the file. What do you do at the weekend? What kind of person are you? What are some customs in your country? All right. On Monday, uh, 20, the teacher will ask you uh, the, the three sentences, say questions, and you have to give the answers to each of them. Okay. Now, short answers will equal zero. Excellent. Thank you, Manuel. All right. So let's go to the document. In the document, you have the three questions. Question number one, what do you do at the weekend? What kind of person are you? And what are some customs in your country? All right. ¿De qué le va a servir esto? This is una guía de lo que yo quiero en sus respuestas. All right. Usando el... Ad, los adverbs of frequency, que lo vamos a empezar a ver mañana. All right. So, next week, on Monday, on Monday, en el, de acuerdo al listado que tenemos, empezamos, por ejemplo, con Frank. Y a Frank le voy a hacer la pregunta. Frank, what do you do at the weekend? Y Frank me va a responder esto de acuerdo a lo que él va a escribir. Esto es un ejemplo. All right. Luego, number two, what, Fran, what kind of person are you? And number three, Fran, what are some customs in your country? And you have the example right here. Guys, no tan importante. Respuestas cortas equivalen a ser. All right? Por ejemplo, la que yo diga, hey, Bea, what kind of person are you? Si Bea me dice, mm, I am a happy person. Mm -mm. Por eso les estoy dando yo el ejemplo de lo que pueden hacer. Tienen casi siete días para, para, para escribirlo, para practicarlo y que no vayan a salir con respuestas cortas. All right. Now, do you have any questions about the homework, about the forum, or about the oral exam? For me. Solo, teacher, una pregunta. Serían yeah. las únicas tareas que, que llevan nota esto. Yes, for the week, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, es que yo estaba viendo las tareas de la semana 1, pero practicando únicamente, no sabía Excellent. si había que subirlas a la plataforma. Oh, no, that's extra practice only. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's Thank just, you. Just, for, just for you to practice. Okay, very good. Guys, in the case you have any other question, please ask me. All right. In case you have any other questions. Oh, Carlos. Yo, All right. Eh, sí. Eh, hablando de, eh, de actividades extra y todo eso, eh, quisiera saber si van a compartir el link de las clases eh, que suben a YouTube, porque a mí me gusta repasarlas y este mm -hmm. último no, no he podido verla. En el link está here in Schoology. Mm -hmm. In Schoology, you go to... You go to... Okay, you go to video link Zoom para unirse en clase. So you can use okay. that and you will. Wait a second. I'm sorry. It's Él in the las clases grabadas, creo. Let me check. Están en otra carpeta. Uh, oh, this one. I'm sorry. Zoom video conference. Here. You have the, ah, okay. you have the list and you have, you click continue and you have. The four classes. Okay. Right here. Excellent. Thank you. And all right, very good. And the link for the playlist, it's also in the WhatsApp. All right. Está ahí en, 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 la, en la información que mando Jessica, ahí está el, el link. All right. Okay, guys. Very good. Now we can continue. 
Activity number one. Ok. Si tienen alguna duda, si en el transcurso de hoy se les ocurre alguna pregunta, me la hacen, ok? Para que tengan buena nota en sus actividades. Now, let's go back to, to English. So, um, activity number one. This activity is individual. All right? This is individual. And for this activity, you are going to have maybe six, seven minutes. All right? So, I will, I will send you an activity right now. Uh, <clears throat> you need to write one sentence with these verbs. All right? Write one sentence with the following verbs. And the following verbs are this. There you go, in the WhatsApp. You have the verb come, think, uh, come, think, desire, tell, and leave. All right? So please write one sentence for each verb and Take a picture and send it to the general group, okay? In the general group, I need those sentences, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes per sentence. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes, all right? So please, let's begin. Uh, this activity will end at 8.52. All right, let's go, let's go. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Estas oraciones que vamos a hacer es con simple present o, o con will, no. como dijo. No, 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 simple present. Yeah, because right activity, now. We... Activity every day. Uh, no, just for today. But for it's going to be, yeah, like uh, just a general, just a general simple present sentence. Right? Okay, teacher. Thank this you. Is present. That's a good one. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Make sure that it's simple present. I don't want sentences in simple past or simple future. It's simple present. All right? Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.
You have five more minutes. Five more minutes. Thank you, Carla Hernandez. Thank you very much. Uh, Carla, in question sentence number two, just remove yourself. But please, teacher, please understand. Yep. In sentence in sentence number two, you need to remove the word yourself. Just take it out. Oops. Remove that word. Thank you, Maria Elena Montano.
teacher. Yes. Una, una pregunta. En, en el verbo lead, eh, ¿cómo se traduce? Porque yo lo he tratado de traducir y como que es como dejar, pero también yeah. hay otras, 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 otras palabras. Yes. Por ejemplo, si yo... For, for example, salir de la casa, salir del trabajo. Mm, salir, dejar, pero... dejar físicamente un lugar. Por ejemplo, yo salgo de la casa. I leave my house uh, at five in the yeah. morning. Entonces, mm -hmm. es, yo pensé que era dejar como dejar otra cosa. Por ejemplo, yo lo estaba haciendo como eh, Juan dejó el carro yes. encendido en el parqueo. It's correct. También. Yep. Pero tam también se puede usar como left. Mm -hmm. so the only thing left is a simple pants. For example, I left my I left my wallet on the car, like in a car, inside the car. So left is el pasado de leave. Puedes puedes para um puedes ocuparlo para dejar una cosa en un lugar o para salir de un lugar. Ah, uh, ya entendí. Entonces left es como es el mismo verbo pero ya está en el pasado. Ajá. Ah, como lo dejó, es para tiempo pasado. Excellent, yeah. Simple Solo puedo dejar como let. Mm, let's try to use a simple present. Let's try. Mm -hmm. It, remember, remember that the simple present is for routines, for general, uh, like a schedule events. Like, for example, the one I gave you. I leave my house at five in the morning. That could be a simple present. All right. So just think of another example. Entonces, teacher, si, si yo quiero poner Juan dejó el carro encendido. Oh. Okay. So Juan left. Pero ahí es simple past. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, mm -hmm. baby, si, quiero, si quiero utilizar leave, ¿cómo lo podría usar en una oración entonces? Yeah, como la que te dije yo, por ejemplo, I leave my 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 home. O, for example, I leave my my telephone on the on my desk every morning. Entonces, I leave my eh, job, eh, <laughs> yo también tenía duda porque yo yo puse I leave my stuff everywhere. O sea, dejo yeah. mis cosas yes. en cualquier lado. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. I leave my heart by All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So let's see. I have three more. I have three more. So I have. All right. So I have. This is Carla. Well, Carla, no sé. <laughs> I think, uh, what else? And so uh, I think my dog. Me, and... Car me, me teacher. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Can you come and what? Okay. I desire, all right, very good, very good. Excellent, very good, Carla. Let's continue with this one. This is for Carlos. Uh, <laughs> all right, very good. Awesome. I have this one that is for FG. I don't know who is, I think it's Fran, Francisco. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> FG, right. uh, I'm me. <laughs> Francisco, all right. Arite de Granados. Oh, okay. Oh, Frank. Okay, excellent. <laughs> all right, thank you. Very good. Good sentences. Now, this is for Carla. No, yeah, Kenny Alas. All right, let's see. Um, excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's continue with this one, Ronald. Uh, when I come to my house, I start. Oh, uh, when, I, when I came to my house, it started to rain. Okay. Uh, on Thursdays. Mm hmm. Sandra, Ronald, Sandra tails, tails, okay? In number three, Ronald, make that correction. Uh, let's see, 
Yeah, Francisco yeah. Granados. Francisco, he never comes. Remember the third person. No se les olvide la tercera persona, la S. Oh. La All right. Oh, rayos. Yes. Excellent. He never yes. comes. All right. So yes. the weekend starts. Ahí le falta una T a ese start. Porque ese star es de estrella. It starts. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave the shirt. Excellent. That, however, that it's a uh, future. All right. This is for Manuel. Let's see. Comes back. Very good. Very good for traveling for two other countries. Excellent. All right. Let's see this one. Uh, uh, Bea. All right. She thinks. Very good. Bea, he tells. He tells. Okay, Bea? Sorry. All right. It's okay. He tells. Remember the, th the simple present. Uh, I mean, the third person. This is for Kenya Marcella. Come. Sister, my sister comes, Kenya. Comes because it's a she. Um, All right. Uh, okay. Desire, tails. She tails. She tells. Yeah. She tails. Very she good. Tells. All right. Jennifer Sarabia. Uh, number one is simple future. Number two is simple future. Uh, desire. Uh, fried potatoes. Fried at revés. I desire fried potatoes. Okay. I tell I tell I tell you we should play. I leave that city, all right? Let's continue with this one. Roxana. Uh <clears throat> Roxana, number one, comes. Simple present. Okay. All right, okay. come. He comes. Uh-huh. He comes. Excellent. Number two, I think. Of. Cuando, cuando decimos pensar en alguien, es la preposición es of. Of. O F. Uh, uh, of with you. I think of you. Uh -huh. okay. I think of you. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now I'm going to send you to the groups and you are going to tell to the group your sentences. All right. So you are going to take turns to say, to tell the sentences to the group, okay? So let me create the groups right now. I will create five groups. Uh, you are going to have like oh, five minutes, okay? Five minutes for everybody, all right? So let's go guys to the breakout rooms and share your sentences share the sentences with the other classmates let's go let's go share the sentences everyone speaking in english everyone speaking in english all right let's go let's go everyone let's go roxana let's go fran Let's go, Francisco, Stephanie. Sorry, teacher, que tengo problemas con la máquina. No sé si me puede volver a enviar al grupo. Perdón. All right, it's okay. Ahorita, vamos a ver. Uh, just a second. Let's see if that's same. Okay, Roxana, you got it? Is number one, Maria comes to my house. Number two, 
I sing in my girlfriend all days. He decided to win the battle against cancer. Number four, they tell me four things. Number five, we leave our country for a, a very future. Okay, very good. Uh, Sergio, can you repeat number four? Okay. They they may fall things. Oh, they tell they tell you said full things. Uh, they full things. Eh, eh, la voy a redactar en el chat. All right, all right. Please. <clears throat> I send it. They tell sentence. May full things. Okay. You can remove may. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can delete may. They tell false things. That's good. All right. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Let's let's continue with um Stephanie Guadalupe, then Elena del Kahneman, and finally Jairo. Um I see I can improve my English level practice. With practice, all right, excellent. Let's continue. Number two, I think she got frozen. Let's go with Elena and then Jairo and then we can continue with Stephanie. Okay, let's go, Elena. Okay. Uh, number one, we are con the jinx in the afternoon. All right. Okay, let's go. Number two, I think a lot about my parents. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue. Number two. Three, my daughter desire ice cream. Desires? Desires. Uh -huh. Desires. My daughter desires ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, good, good. Let's continue. Number four, my dad says the money. My dad, what? I'm sorry, one more time. My dad tells the money. Tells the money? Mm. What do you mean? No. ¿Qué quieres decir ahí? Mi papá, what? Que mi papá cuenta el dinero. Oh, okay. But, oh, ya te entendí. Okay. Pero en este caso, tell, literalmente significa contar. Pero es contar, por ejemplo, una historia. All right. Si es de contar dinero, mm -hmm. Elena, entonces ese es otro verbo que es count. Oh. All right. So ahí sería, mm -hmm. my father counts the money. All right. Mm -hmm. Pero tales es básicamente de hablar. Hablar, sí. contar, hablar. Ok, entonces, por ejemplo, si yo cuento chistes, o, o tu papá cuenta chistes, my father tells jokes. Cuenta, de, de hablar, ok? My father tells jokes. All right? Ok. Excellent. Very good. Ok. Eh, number five, tengo a uh, she won't leave me alone. Excellent. She won't leave me alone. All right. That's a good one. Very good. Thank you, Elena. Let's go with um, Jairo and then Stephanie. 
que ya estaba con el crack también. 911, eh, okay. Number one, come with me to the beach at night. Right. Number two, think, uh, no. he thinks I can run fast. Number three, desire, Ah, uh, sorry. We desire to travel around the world. Excellent. Number four, steals, steals me that I have many cats. Hey, very Number good. Five, I leave my cell phone to my mom in her back. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So now let's go back to the main session, okay? Let's go back. All right, all right. Very good. Guys, estos son los ejercicios que son con verbos que no conozca. Haga oraciones con verbos que no conozca. All right? This is the only way that you can learn new vocabulary. This is the only way. All right? Very good. Okay. Guys, let's see. Who can tell me what is accountable now? What is it? What's accountable now? What is How it? Much? How many? All right. We can we can use how much and how many with countable and with uncountable now. Uncountable. Right. But what is the definition of countable now? So what is that? What countable. Is that? Contable. All right. But in English, how can you define? What is the definition of accountable now? Do you have an example, for example, mm, to, right. well, to, uh, and if something you can not count numerically? Uh, 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 still... All right. Things that you can count numerically, like with numbers. All right. And what about uncountable? What are uncountable nouns? It's something you cannot uh, count. All right. Okay, now let's see. Very good. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Let's see. Uh, Sergio, please tell me examples of countable nouns. And Marlon, tell me examples of uncountable nouns. Oh. Let's go, Sergio. Orange. Continue. Books, TVs. Students, dogs. All right, thank you. Marlon. Money, stars, sugar, salt, low. Excellent. All right. Now, we know the definition of countable and uncountable. All right. Now, with countable, we use what? How many? And with uncountable, uncountable, how much? Excellent. How many is for countables, and how much is for uncountables? Uncountable. Are they interchangeable? No. Se puede intercambiar? No, never. Never use how many salt? Never. How many salt. sugar? Never. No. How many love? Never. All right. Or <sighs> the other way around. How much oranges? Never. 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 So again, how many is for countables? How much is for uncountables? Okay. Now let's complete the following exercise together. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> just give me one second. It's loading right now. All right. 
There we go. Please, I will, I will say the name. I get the answer from the person I ask. All right. So let's see. Um, let's begin with Marlon. So I have water. Marlon, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. A or B? B. Excellent. Jennifer. <laughs> uncountable. What is Little B. The word. Sand. Sand. Arena. Arena, Next. verdad? Yes, that's correct. All right, good. Carla Vasquez. Letter A, countable. Okay. What is the noun? Lemons. Lemons, very good. Let's continue with Hydro. Number uh, rice there B uncountable. Uncountable, excellent. Very good. Sergio. Letter eight. Countable. Excellent. Continue, Cindy. Snow, uncountable. Good. Jose Francisco Cruz. Letter A, countable. Are you sure? Are you sure? What? Are you sure? Uh, traffic. Letter, Letter A. 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 Can you count traffic? Traffic. One traffic, two traffic, three tra Can you say that? Teacher, lo que pasa es que tráfico, vaya, como es lo, lo que se puede contar, eh, tráfico, yo lo entiendo como que solo es una sola vez tráfico. No se pueden contar los tráficos. Ajá. So, Entonces, por eso... Uh -huh. Letter B, letter B. Sorry, sorry. Oh, letter B. All right. Lo había entendido, pero lo estaba seleccionando mal. Oh, okay, okay. Excellent. That's a good one. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's continue with the bear. Birds. <laughs> um... Um, countable. Letter A or letter B? Letter A. Letter A? Yes, definitely. One bird, two birds, three birds, and so on. Teacher, right. but yep. when in the sky, I mucho so. Oh, yeah, you say birds. Okay. In plural. All okay, right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, let's continue with um, Jorge Alberto. What's the word? Intelligence is uncountable. Letter, letter B? Letter B. Good. All right. Let's continue with this one. Manuel. Air. Air, yeah, letter B, uncountable. Excellent. Friend. Uh, letter A, countable. Are you sure? Um, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't doubt it. <laughs> Very good. Very the good. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's continue. Oh, this is good. Maria Elena. Uh, homework. Uh huh. Is. Countable. 
countable or uncountable? Yes. What do you think? Countable. countable? Letter oh. A. Letter A. Oh, mm hmm. Countable. All right. Why? Who can tell me why? This is a good example. Why? Because it's a general. It's general. Yes, I have a lot of homework. All right. Yep. So in this case, there are some words that might be tricky. All right. Like this one, countable. I mean, it's uncountable. All right. So remember that it's uncountable. Let's continue with parrots. Carla Hernandez. Uncountable. Are you sure? No. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it's countable. countable. Letter, Letter A. A. Oh, Letter, okay. A. Letter A. Excellent. Letter A. All right. Let's continue with this one. Kenya Alas. Uh, uncountable. All right. In general, uncountable. All right. But and what, in what? the bottle. It's All right. countable. Yes, excellent. So I can say, for example, uh, <clears throat> you can say oil, oil. Oh, let me change the color. All right. Oil, it's uncountable. But if you say a bottle of oil, that is countable. countable. All right. All right, very good, very good. Let's continue. One more, and this is for Roxana. Uh, Trees, let it be uncountable. Are you sure? Mm, and the picture is letter A. All right, and in general? In general, uh -huh. it's so uncountable. It's a it, in general, it's a countable. In the picture, is countable. Are you sure? So mm. right now, imagine, imagine all the traits. Imagine all the traits in your neighborhood. So imagine the traits. Are they countable or uncountable? Uh, countable. Countable all the time, right? Because you can count. One, three, two, three, 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 and all that. All right? Okay. Very good. Okay. So you know how to identify countable nouns. I'm going to give you a tip. Todo lo que se pueda poner en plural es countable. Lo que no se puede poner en plural es uncountable. For example, air. Air is air. No puedo decir airs. No existe red airs. So that is uncountable. Pero I can say computers. Lo puedo poner en plural. Por lo tanto, se puede contar. It's countable. All right? Very good. Okay. So I'm going to share with you a video. Okay? You have two minutes to watch the video by yourself. All right. Let me give you, let me give you um, the video right now. Okay. Guys, you have the video. You have two minutes to watch it. Let's go. Teacher, no, no sé qué hay que hacer porque la plataforma me está atacando. Me dice que el código es erróneo. Eso estaba viendo ahorita, fíjate, en tu, en, en tu mensaje. Justamente estaba leyendo. No sé por qué te saca, pero este, lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, Stephanie, es viendo el video que mandé al, al grupo. 
Ah, bye. Ahorita voy. Gracias. Excellent. You're welcome. Teacher. Yep. I don't, I not see the video. You can't see the video? Why? I don't know. The video, is it giving you an error? Do you have an error? Uh, lo mando en el WhatsApp. Yes. Isn't it ah, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Thank you, thank you. Let me know when you're ready. All right, teacher. Excellent. This is like a very short video about how many and how much. All right. Now, let's go to the manual. Question number one Kenya Alas. Please help us read question, uh, question number one. Okay. How often do you have vacation at your job? All right. Uh, Kenya, how often do you have vacations? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> or oh, never? <laughs> Rarely. Rarely? All right. All right. Let's see, Jennifer. How often do you have vacations? How remember that how often is how frequently? Okay. Um Um, I don't. <laughs> you don't have vacations? No. No? Um, weekend. Only on the weekends? All right. Yes. All right. Excellent. Let's continue with Jorge. Jorge, how often do you have vacations? Um, I have a vacations. Um, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, uh, you can say once a year. Once a year. Una vez al año, like once a year. Okay, one more time. For him, how often do you have vacations? I have vacations uh, once a year. Once a year. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Let's continue with um, Elena. How, Elena del Carmen, how often do you have vacations? How often do you have vacations? I have vacation once a year. Once a year? Okay. 
Now, let me change the question. And the question is for uh, Kenya Marcela. Listen to my question, Kenya. Just to turn. How many, how many days, how many days do you have for vacation? I have 15 days of vacation, one Perfect. time per year. Excellent. Very good answer, Kenya. Good answer. 15 days, okay? 15 Who days. Has, all right. Who has 20 days? A 20 day vacation? No? No? Me, teacher, 21. Oh, delicious. I love that. <laughs> Where do you work? I want to work there too. All right. 21 <laughs> days? That's 21 that's days. Good. All right. Excellent. Now, let's continue then. Um, <clears throat> this is a conversation between Ruth and Josh. Ruth is going to be Marielena Montano and Josh Manuel Reyes. Let's go. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Rod. Uh, how about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many, how many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. Uh, what about you? And how much do you receive? How I much have, do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. All right. Very good. Thank you, guys. Let's see another, another couple. Uh, let's go with Fran. Fran. And uh, mm, Stephanie, Fran and Stephanie. Let's go, Stephanie. Stephanie, are you here? Oh, creo que está fallando el internet. All right, let's go with um, Stephanie and Carla Vasquez. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, Carla, uh, Carla, you are Ruth. Okay, teacher. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Uh, yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many days do you have in your vacations? Uh, 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonus. Bonuses? What a, bonuses? What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $1,600. $600, sorry. $600, all right. Very good. Okay, guys, this is the, the pronunciation for this one. Receive. Re receive. Receive. Uh, receive. All right. Receive. So, this is a good phrase to be exact. To like, be exact. Uh -huh. Frase ya hechas. To be exact. Para ser exacto. So, for example, how many days do you have for vacations, uh, Bea? How many days do you have in your vacations? 50. All right. 15. To be exact. 15 to be exact. Uh huh. 15 days to, 15 be, day to be exact. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Very good. Um, Marlon, do you have paid vacations? Uh, yes, I have. 
I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. Excellent. Why? Por qué? Yes, I do. Por qué pregunté con do. All right. Do you have paid? Do you have paid vacations? La respuesta es yes, I do. All right. Si fuera no, no, I. I no, I don't. Excellent. No, I don't. All right. Uh, so remember, remember that we answer with the same verb that we make the question. All right. Si pregunto con do, respondo con do. Si pregunto con das, respondo con das. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see. This is very, very important. The word after how many is always plural. All right. The word after many is always plural. How many days? Plural. How many bonuses? Plural. All right. All right. So remember how many is for plural for count for uh, countable countable nouns. Guys, can we count days? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Can they we, can they we they count, exactly. Can we they count bonuses? For they Yes. 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 Excellent. All right. Now, let's take a look at some expressions about money. All right. So, Roxana, number one. How much do they pay? All right. How much do they pay? All right. Okay. Imagine that the salary is this. How do you read this number? One thousand six hundred. One thousand six hundred. All right. Any other option? Rara vez, cuando hablamos de dinero, y en general, rara vez, una persona americana le va a decir one thousand six hundred. Muy rara vez. Casi nunca. There is another way to say this. And we say six team hundred. This is me. Sixteen hundred. All right. So how do you say mil novecientos dólares? For example, how do you say how do you say this one? Nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred. Okay. How do you say this? Wow. Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. So here is nineteen thousand. All right, so that's the difference. Nunca va a escuchar 1,600, 19,000, 16,000, I'm sorry, in this case. All right, so question number two. Let's see question number two. This is for Sergio. How much? Do they change charge? Charge. <clears throat> charge. Mm -hmm. Sergio, do you know the meaning of charge? Uh, repeat, please. Yes. Do you know the meaning of charge? No. No? Okay. Does can can anybody help him? Cargar. Cargo. Mm. Cargo. Cargar. No, ¿cuál es el cargo? No. Charge es. Carga de trabajo. Puesto. Puesto de trabajo. 
¿Cuánto cobro? Ah. ¿Cuánto cobra? ¿Cuánto cobra? ¿Cuánto cobra? All right. So, mm, ¿Cuánto cobra? Mm -hmm. For example, imagine that Jorge is a carpenter. All right. And he's going to make a table for me. So, Jorge, how much do you charge to make a table? All right. So, ¿cuánto cobras? All right. Uh, Carla Vasquez, how much do you charge? Okay, to make a pizza. How much do you charge to make a pizza? Twenty. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. All right. Okay. Very Martes good. y jueves sería. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good promotion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Now, guys. Can you tell me another word for dollars? Los de la clase pasada tienen que, tienen que acordarse. How much? Uh -huh. How much? But like, uh, how do you say $20? Para ocupar dollars en otra palabra más común. Can you buy some? No. Pero la palabra dollar. Dollar, la palabra dollar. I use box. Box. Bien yeah. común. Bien común. 20 bucks. 20 Or bucks is dollar. 1,000 bucks. Box. Box. Right? Box. Um, give me five bucks. All right? Five bucks. So the word box, bucks. it's very, very informal for um, dollar. All right, so you have that word. Okay, now let's continue. Phrase number three, Jennifer. How much is it? All right. It, it. How much is it? Uh huh. How much is it? All right. So what is, what is that? How much is it? What is it? When you are hmm. about to pay, ¿cuánto es? Cuando vas a pagar, all right? So tell me, Jennifer, how much is it? ¿Cuánto te debo? How much is it? <laughs> right? Okay, so, mm -hmm. oh, you give me, you owe me uh, 50 bucks, 20 bucks, all right? And let's continue with the phrase number four. And this is for, um, <clears throat> let's see, Francisco Cruz. Okay, how much do you earn every month, monthly? Aha, uh -huh. do you know the meaning of earn? Tomo no. ganar o, o de vengar. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me another word for earn? You can say make. Hey. ¿Cuánto ganas al mes? Hey, uh, how much do you make? How much do you earn a month? All right? O si trabajas semanalmente, how much do you earn or how much do you make a week? How much do you make a year? All right? Okay. Inventen el inventen, pero tienen que dar una respuesta. All right. Jairo, how much do you make a month? How much do you make a month? Uh, uh, I make. I make. Oh, oh, sí. I earn. Sí. Oh. Okay. Okay. I make. Para eso, um, para cosas que ya no hay. $500. Right. A month. Uh, uh, every, every month. Every month. Okay. Every month. Very, very good. Very good. Uh, Kenya Alas, how much do you make a week? Invent, invent. Right now we are just practicing. How okay. much? 
a week? Uh, one uh, one hundred. One hundred what? Uh ducks bucks. Sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, a week. Uh yes. <laughs> I make one hundred bucks for for per weeks. Excellent. Very okay. good. Excellent. Beatriz. What, I mean, how much do you make a year? I'll repeat. Yeah, how much do you make a year? I make 300. 300? Are you sure? <laughs> a year. A year. Uh, I don't know. And then, right now we I are making two billion of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me an amount. Any amount. Uh, one thousand. One thousand. No, you need to make more. I am. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Fifty thousand. You can tell uh, me fifty thousand. Uh -huh. All right. Fifty thousand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three millions. Three millions. All right. How do you say que galan fuera? Ooh, how do you say que galan? I don't know. <laughs> how handsome. <laughs> no, no, que, how handsome es que guapo. No, por eso que galan. <laughs> oh, no, oh. <laughs> okay, I wish it could be true. Oh, que galan fuera. I wish it could be true. Right? Wish? Yep, I wish it could be true. Right? So that's another ah, phrase. Sería que fuera cierto. <laughs> uh huh. All right. Very good. Now let's continue then with the next part. Let's see. Ronald, number one. Uh, well, first of all, read the instruction, Ronald, please. Okay. Um, how much? Oh, uh, this is okay. Number three. Okay. Circle the word that, that complete the question. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, Ronald, read number one and tell me what is that correct? Much or many? Okay. How, how, how many? many to pay? How many do they pay? Do they, sure? do they pay? How much? So, so, no, no, no. How much do they pay? Excellent. How much do they pay? Very good. Let's see. Frank, number two. Uh, how many days do you have in your vacations? Excellent. How many days do you have in your vacations? Very good, guys. Okay. You have. Two minutes, you need to complete these sentences using these questions, okay? Let me make it a little bit smaller. All right, much better. So you need to complete these questions, these questions, these sentences with these questions, okay? You have two minutes individually, and then we are going to practice. No tienen que escribir, solo just pair them up. Mm -hmm.
finish. You finished? Excellent. Everybody finishes? Yay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go. Number one. What is the what is the correct what is the correct uh, sentence for number one? How much is how much it is? How much is it? How much is it? How much it is? Is it? Is it? All right. How yes. much is it? Very good. How much do you want? No. How much do you what? Earn How much do you charge? Earn All right. What is what is the other word that we can use uh for earn? Make. How do you make? Make. make. Earn or make. Very good. Make. Very good. Very good. So uh, let's continue with number three. How much do they charge? 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 All right. And the question mark. And the number four. What's the last one? How much do they pay? How much? All right. How much? What? Do they pay? Do they pay? Do they pay? Do they pay? How much do they pay? All right. Very good, guys. Let's move on. All right. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. We are going to read this. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Please read. And then we are going to answer these questions based on this uh on this information all right so let's go you have you have uh, three minutes to read three minutes to read let's go Ready? Yes, teacher. All right. Who else finished? Finish. All right. Okay. Finish. Let's see. I'm gonna ask one person to read. Um let's begin with Kenya, Kenya Alas. Let's begin. Travers Inc. Travers Inc. Yes, for a better future dear. Oh. Dear employee, welcome to Travel Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travel family. Here's some information about your new yeah. job. Thank you. Let's continue with Jose Francisco. Please read it carefully. Ney Glenda Dominguez Sánchez. Joy. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, teacher? Title. Title. Mm -hmm. Title Junior Sale Manager. Sales. 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 
Ajá, ser manager, manager uh -huh. que enjoy daddy Julia key, what key job duties key job duty excellent all okay. right uh have a meeting with you with your manager every week gain contact with customer. Customers, all right. Customer, uh, answer client a uh, question about all pros. All right. Pros. Answer, answer clients. Answer clients question. Mm -hmm. About, teacher, acá esta palabra about, about con all, ¿cómo se podría unir? ¿O no se puede unir? Yes, yes, se puede. Very good. About our products. Vean que about casi our product. ni se escucha. Ni se escucha, vean. Oh. About our, about our products. About oh. our product. Excellent. They order on the cell phone, cell phone. Telephone, uh -huh. Call potential client. Client. All right. Client. Line. Very good. Awesome. Let's continue with Carla Hernandez. Vacation two weeks per year. Past public holidays. Mm -hmm. Salary 40, no, 400. 400. <laughs> 14 um, per month plus plus bonus. Excellent. Got luck, Mark Travel. Good. Good. <laughs> Repeat with me. Good luck. Good luck. Excellent. Good luck. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now let's answer the questions. Question number one. Let's see, uh, Francisco Antonio Granados. What is question number one? Francisco Antonio Granados. Sorry, uh, Junior says manager. Mm, here, no. number one. Ah, oh, oh, sorry. Dominic is speak to client a Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Clint in the heart, new job. Okay, one more time. One more time. Mm -hmm. One more time. Let's go. Dominic, speak to clients in the heart, new clients, job. Clients, repeat with ah, me. Clients. Clients. Uh -huh. clients. Yeah. In the heart, new job. All right. Now, this word, this is Dominic. Dominic. No, Dominic. Dominic. Dominic Toretto. Dominic. Dominic Toretto. Dominic. Ven el acento donde va. Dominic is for men. All right. Dominic. Dominic is for woman. Name the, the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dominic. Dominic. So Dominic is like a French name. All right. So that's the thing. Okay, question number one. True or false, guys? True. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm sure. How do you prove that? Well, potential clients. I'm sorry? Because well, potential clients. Can you do this? It called potential clients. Getting contact right. with customers. They order on the telephone. And answer, call, call answer client questions about, about our products. About our all products. right. All right. So definitely this is true. true. Awesome. True. Let's see. Number two. True. Let's go with um, Kenya Rodriguez. Kenya Marcela Rodriguez. Please read the number two. Kenya. 
Carlos, let's go. Number two. Um, her salary is uh, 100 per week. Um, True or false? False. 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 Are you false. sure? Yes. 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 No, why? Because it's this is oh okay this Pulse. is per week and this is yes. per month yes yes so it's uh, full per week is is 110 for, 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 no no it's 400 400 40 los 40 es la renta <laughs> that's true all right very good okay let's continue bea number three read it dominic get a yearly vacation true or false true true how do you prove that true so with Me? her chair me. You don't have a two week per year. Uh huh. Two weeks per year. Vacation. Two weeks per year plus public holidays. You have a two week public holidays. Plus. Great. So this is true or this is false? True. 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 Right. <laughs> Guys, tell me the name of three public holidays in El Salvador. Semana Santa. Holy Week. The Mother Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day. Day. Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Day. September 15th. Teacher, how yes. do you say Day it? Father. El... I'm sorry. Yeah. The Cross Day? No. Day that? Uh -huh. No, oh. that's not public. Anna public. No, that's not public. The day, day of the Yo vengo del kinder ahorita todavía. The day of the state? Yeah, yeah. El do yep. New Year? Sí, el 2 de noviembre. Ajá. Right. ¿Qué se celebra el 2 de noviembre? Ok. Yeah, this, the day the, the, the oh, cielo sí, finado. Day. Cielo okay. finado. The day of the cielo <laughs> finado. Yeah. The day of the... <laughs> right? Los muertos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> day. Mom's Day. How do you say patronales? Other day, right? El chucho. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. False. <laughs> Las fiestas julias? No, right. No. 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 Agostina, Ag yeah. Agostina. Yep. Uh, <laughs> patronales, how do you say that? All right. Very good, guys. Awesome. Tomorrow. We are going to begin the class with an exercise for how much and how many. Este tema no está nada complicado. Por eso es que no vamos a, no vamos a ahondar mucho. All right? So just a, 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 a pair of exercises and that's it. A couple of exercises and that's it. All right? Okay, guys. We made it. First day of the week. So uh, remember the homework. Todavía no le empiecen a hacer porque no le van a hallar sentido. Desde mañana, sí. Porque mañana va a ser la explicación de la clase y ya pueden empezar a trabajar en eso. All right? Guys, All right. thank you so very much for being here for the effort. Let's go to sleep right now. Have a good Take night. Take care. Good and night. Bye-bye. Oh, I go to my home. home. Bye. 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 Good night. 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 Take care.